what's up guys? Back now, this is week two. Um, new work going on, we're gonna install isolators. They're lying straight over there and they're gonna be uh, lifted up into the carrying construction of the tower and installed there. Just did my performance calculations on the performance page. Uh, we did the fuel and we are ready to go for this lift. So let me head over there. We're gonna do this with the 50 foot sling, which is uh, 15 meters. So uh, I got my legs, uh, legs stretched last week uh, when it came to uh, the 45. That was uh, a little, a little tougher to say the least uh, but uh, now I expect it to go a little bit smoother again there's the thumbs up all right Angelo lifting now okay let's fly 83 blue side 83 blue let's see here now now it's not gonna feel like we're up in the stratosphere when we lift up no definitely not and there's a line right on the side, it is not energized, uh, but it's still very, very close, so that'll require some attention. Let's see here, that seems to be the load master, and I'm looking now at the line, and I, they have put out the safety mark, which is a wooden board, that'll be the 15 meter mark, so that I know where I am in terms of uh, safety and uh, clearance as far as that goes. Let's see here if I can't deliver this hook to him. Yep, there we go. So they have like a lifting jig. Now these are, let's see here, they are a lot of tangly stuff going on, looks like. Yeah, okay, so that's a jig they are using. Pull the power now, but be careful because the isolators do break if you're uh, not cautious with them. They're made of glass. <laughs> well within limits, we already knew that because we did the performance calculations. I expected it to be around six, uh, 500, uh, but they did the wheel at the same time, so I guess that added the weight. So it's up here on the mountain where it's still snowy. Um, today is uh, it's a little more wind today, 15 knots-ish. We did a safety check just a while ago where I fly out to a tower do like a test hovering to make sure that uh, it appears uh, safe to do this because this is installation uh, above ground level like that demands more uh, more caution so um, so did that uh, I'll restart the video when I get there okay all right this is tower 88 Blue side, outside to inside, it. isolator in. installation. I would love it if the guys would in. shut up. Let's see here now. Now. Stabilized approach. Nose into the wind. Notice it's going slowly. That is because the consequences of hitting someone is catastrophic. Do not rush it. Okay, that's a signal to go up. Please hold it, do not release. <laughs> There's a, such a fine line between getting the signal to go up and the signal to hold that is such a fine line okay so there's up there's down 
so he's got the bolt in continue down but it's always funny though how, how no matter how much they uh, they uh, throw their arms around and how stressed out they seem just make sure you take your time because sometimes you get some of these dudes which are super stressed out and, uh, and, and I'm not talking about these guys they've been pretty calm but uh, then again you could always say it comes down to the pilot right if you're not able to follow their instructions and so on and so forth so <laughs> okay so it seems they're working on releasing the the thing Okay, there it goes. And then I'll try and wait, because uh, they told me not to pull it over until they said they were ready, and, and that's fine. Alright, so there we go. Up. I really hope you can see the, this, because it's, uh, it's an enjoyable job, and, and now with the 15 meter sling, something actually happens when you pull on the flight controls so that's always nice okay so there's all these notches of steel here you really gotta try not to to get your uh, the little line that's pulling on the stuff okay so he's got the steel you really gotta try not to get that uh, hooked into all of these steel Let's see here, so that's down. Steel notches there, I mean they're <coughs> everywhere. Okay, so that's up, more up. Air on the bus goes round and round, up and down, up and down. Try to hold, okay. More up, full power. Just pulling slowly. This it takes a little while for it to, to come around. Okay, so that's down. Maybe they got it. I don't know. Yeah, go up. And then hold. Oh, how I wished they had invented some system. That, that would make it easier for them to uh, to get the bolt in. Like not having to fight with it like this. Because it is such tight clearance. Like sometimes it can be too tight. <laughs> And of course, um, in the end, how precisely I fly will directly affect uh, the time that it takes to install these things. So if I'm all over the place, uh, it'll take longer. I wouldn't exactly define this as being all over the place though, because it, it appears to me to be within, uh, like not that big of a... Well, did they get it in? No, they did not. The changes on the collective power, now when I'm doing this, is like one centimeter up, one centimeter down, uh, maybe go to a half, um, just make smooth, small changes, because you can't go large on the power changes here. Alright, so it's hooked on something, see that on the camera? Let's see here. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, if this ever were to happen, you gotta make sure that you're actually free and clear. 
Because now if I were to go away, that would be a super jolt in the helicopter. Like, free and clear is important. Yeah, just hold it. I will. Just wait till they climb down and, and release it manually. But this here emphasizes the importance. Okay. Verify. Free and clear. Okay. Good. Yeah, Angelo, are you here? Yeah. I'm gonna call it um, a stop. Uh, I'm not liking it. Uh, I'm having problems following the signals to the guys. And uh, and uh, gonna land now. Okay, so are you not having conditions for now or maybe some longer period? Not for now, and then we can look if there is uh, some improvement in uh, in the near future. But uh, it was forecasted to be quite strong at times today, so I think we're just getting what it is actually forecasted to be. So uh, that's that. Okay, you come. Hello, so I'm gonna give it to them now, they're Jake, and then I'm making the decision to stop the operation now, because it's not going, uh, it's not going the way it should, like it's taking too long, and uh, the performance is, isn't there that it should be, and I can feel that the helicopter is moving up and down and that I'm having to make corrections, and then since it's an installation job, you gotta be so careful, that you can't follow up uh, on all the changes very, very rapidly because it's the most important thing that you don't damage the people in the tower. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, like I said, we're gonna land, have a look at the weather. Is there any if any improvement uh, coming? Or um, uh, is it gonna be for another day? Who knows? Just another day in the field. All right, cool. Thanks for watching.